Hi, my pre-K mathematicians. I wanted to show you this book I happen to keep around in my house called One, Two, Three, Zoo. And it is a cool counting book. So one of the bingo activities um, that was suggested to you for this week was to make your own counting book. So I wanted to show you an example of a counting book that I happen to still have in my house. Um, okay, so let's see how this author and illustrator does their One, Two, Three, Zoo. Um, counting book and you can you can guess already what it's going to be what's going to be inside right what they're going to end up counting okay so there is the number one and then it shows a picture of one elephant can you trump it like an elephant then the number is two and it shows the number, and then it shows you two things, two animals. And those animals are hippopotamuses. One, two. I think you know what's gonna come next, right? One, two, three. So there is the number three, and there are three different kinds of bears. One, two, three. Do you see the grizzly bear? Do you know which one is the panda bear? Four, four lions. One, two, three, four. Do you know what this, the fur is that's around their neck? What that's called? And that actually protects them when they have fights with other Animals, it protects the animal from biting their neck. Cool fact, right? Five, five of these peaceful animals with long necks, and they are called giraffes. Five giraffes. One, two, three, four, five. And after five, comes the number six. I know there were some friends in class that really like these kind of birds. They start with the letter F. Flamingo. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six flamingos with long necks and long legs. Seven. Seven zebras. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Question is, are zebras black with white stripes or white with black stripes? What do you think? Eight. Oh, look at these gorillas. Eight gorillas. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven plus one little baby makes a eight. Nine. Nine penguins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Wow. This is a very colorful page, right? Of colorful birds. 10. And look, there's one bird that's even sitting in the number. 10. One zero together is 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I wonder how many birds you know the names of here. The eagle, the toucan, the duck, the macaw. Which ones do you know? 10. And then this is a cool page. The last page has little facts about the animals there. But we're not going to read that. It's too small for us right now. But we can count the numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Isn't that cool little number book? See, sometimes you think certain books are for babies, but actually you can keep reading them. And then when now that you're in pre-K, you can read them all by yourself. And if you'd like to make your own counting book with animals or flowers or bugs or 
candies or donuts or shapes, you can do that too. You can make one like this with a number and a picture of that many items. It's cool, right? All right, mathematicians, if you end up making a, a number book, please share it um, with us. Thanks for reading with me.